Um, I know one of the things you love to do for organizations and uh -oh. meeting planners what? is to be a master of ceremonies. To oh, be I do. Ceremonies. Yeah. So, to kind of really yeah, it's not enough, that role. Well, it's not enough for me to just do like an hour. Like, Ooh. I want three days. You know, <laughs> give me three days. Well, again, I'm seeing the, the transitions. You know, there's so many organizations now, and, you know, the typical is the three-day conference, and they do the opening speaker, and then they have breakouts and breakouts and industry speaker and industry speaker, and then they do more breakouts, and, and you know, then they have entertainment at night, then they have an award ceremony, and then they have a closing speaker. And, and that's great. I mean, it's been pretty much the setup for as long as, you know, as long as I can remember, that's been pretty much the setup. And so I started seeing that, you know, the opening would come in, maybe it was me or someone else, and they would just do an outstanding. The energy's up and everybody's excited and, and attitudes are changing and people are starting to think, wow, this is going to be a fun three days. And then we go to breakouts and maybe the energy lowers a little bit. Now we're into serious topics and senior leadership talks. and and. And they're all good things, they're all necessary, but the energy drops a little bit. And the second day there's intense breakouts and there's technology groups and there's round tables. And, and you see that there's so much information that's being packed into two or three days that by the third day, if I'm the closing speaker, often my audiences are like brain dead. <laughs> I mean, they're just, you see them. They've had so much stuff, so many ideas, so many innovative strategies, all great things, but they're just like, I don't even know what to do now. And then maybe the closing speaker comes on who hasn't been there, knows nothing, and they may take them a whole different direction. So about five years ago, a company called and asked, could you connect all this? Could you be the MC? And I was like, oh, I love that because I used to do that a lot. And so com the company, a lot of organizations don't even understand what it is, but the MC is like the glue. I'm the glue that holds the meeting together. So you come in and I, and I do the opening and everyone's energized and up and, and all of a sudden I set the tone like here's what's going to happen and here's what we're going to do and here's what you're going to learn and here's some of your speakers and I've heard of them and they're great. So I'm setting the tone. I'm getting them energized. We're doing some things that they're going to talk about for the rest of the time. I have them write some things on name tags that every time they see it's created some networking opportunities. And, and then a lot of times I introduce the breakouts or I introduce other speakers. Maybe the other speakers are very heavy content, not real entertaining, and so after they're done, I'll add a little humor or take what they said, tie it back in. After lunch, I can do some more comedy. Um, you know, sometimes I do the awards banquet, sometimes I do auctions, and then often then I'm the closing speaker. And as the closing speaker, I've been there. I've been with them for two, two and a half days. I, I have a feel. I know what they're going through. Uh, I've been the person that, that's tied it all together. They know me in the hall. They see me at Starbucks. They see me you know, on the elevator and ask questions. And then the closing uh, is my favorite closings of all because this is like a group that's adopted me and, and I've taken them into my heart. And now this is a group that when I do the closing, I, I can tie it all together. There's a reason for all. It wasn't like 12 individual people. Um, so you start at the beginning and I go through the speakers and we talk about it and then I do what I think is so important. I say, so what are you going to do with all this? What do you do now? We've given you everything. We've given you some of the top speakers, some great ideas, but now it's up to you. And that closing is a challenge to take everything that they've learned, take it home and make some changes, do something different. So Master of Ceremonies is definitely something I'd love to see. Every, every organization should try it once. Just say, look, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go with it. Let's try it. Because I guarantee you, if you tried it and you had the right person, um, your audience would never let you have a meeting any <laughs> other way. It would just, it, it's fun. It's energetic. It feels like everything ties in. And it's just, a, it's an outstanding meeting.